do the ruck work for Thompson against Wells and Oakley gets it down towards Felburn in the middle of the pack playing against his old side gets a free kick and couldn't quite see what it was for possibly a hold too high I think too high out of, out so Felber. Troy Felburn the inner league captain will push Thompson forward for the first time this afternoon Goes to the right foot, kick towards centre half forward lead. Gardner up there over the back. Martin, who looks look like he's got the job on him, goes to the back of the pack. Moranovic runs the other way. Handball to Bartolo, gets a shepherd. Handballs it further afield to Fursland, close to the boundary line. Goes towards centre wing. Roberts up against Dyer, punched it away. Good roving. Dan O'Connor goes with the right boot long towards the leader, Maharis. Moranovic against him off hands. Yates was there as well. Martin Handley. Handball to nobody in particular. Back towards centre half back. Bartolo chopped off by Oakley. Runs. Away from goal, then switches towards Felburn at a half forward. Got a bit of time to line it up. 55 metres out, missed to the near side and through. For one behind to Thompson. First score of the board. And it took a minute in the first term. Flurry, a bit of bruise out there. What would you suggest? Three or four goals? Oh, look, I think it would be, Eric. Uh, it's, it's fair straight down the middle of the ground. So if you use the corridor, I think, uh, and use it to your advantage. Uh, look, I think the big thing today, Eric, with that, with that wind blowing is uh, try and not get the forward line too crowded. And it, it, tends to bring, bring players into it and if you can open it up and give it opportunity you know I think Troy probably could have had time probably to make a little bit of better fist for that one so Adam Wells kicks in with his own defence for uh, Thompson there the kick in uh, comes to ground at half back picked up by Dyer for Bell Post Hill, runs a good measure finally decides, in fact it's Simmons has a bounce, ran another long way but now kicks the ball into the forward half Conley leads in the race for the footy he's uh, pushed in the back by Aitchison according to the umpire and Simon Conley inside the 50 metre arc, but it'll take a very good kick into this breeze. But the first opportunity for Belpost Hill to, uh, to score. Moves in, nice looking kick into the breeze. It's going to land in the goal square. Almost to mark the holiday, not taken, comes to ground. Ball uh, picked up there by holiday for uh, Belpost Hill. But Thompson, they clear it. A wild kick out of the pack suddenly finds Christian Highland. He kicks to the middle of the ground and finds Troy Feldman, who. Uh, could be on fire against his old side here today. He's had two kicks early. Chips it wide to the wing. And Oakley for Thompson has taken the mark. Decides to go long. Into the uh, full forward position. Big pack down there. Comes to ground. Stone overruns the footy. Picked up there by Ditchburn. Play on advantage. Handball went to Wells for Bell Post Hill. Kicks it to centre wing. And Dyer takes the mark there ahead of Rob. It's already a problem, I think, for Thompson out there, as has been suggested. The handballs come to Simmons, who's run. He kicks it into the uh, forward area. Mark not taken there by uh, Roberts. Picked up by Conley, but he's forced over the line by Aitchison. And that's an interesting matchup. Aitchison and uh, Conley there, Laurie. A uh, couple of the old stages. Yes, well, they've certainly uh, shown uh, Simon a lot of uh, respect there. Uh, it's probably not the move I would have had. I like, I like Aitchie out a little bit where he can run off the back. But, uh, yeah, you know, the hierarchy probably feel that they've got to stop his goal scoring. Well, from the throw-in, the ball uh, very congested there. Trying to crash his way out of the pack with the footy is uh, Simon Conley. Unfortunately, he's absolutely surrounded by uh, Thompson defenders. And the umpire will move in 15 metres out, almost directly in front of the goal at the western end, to which Thompson are kicking, the, at least the Belpo still are kicking. Nice tap down, comes into the arms there. Well, he skewed it around. That was uh, Martin Hanley, and he is missed to the right-hand side. So one behind Belpost still, one behind Thompson Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, and it's taken four minutes. Yeah, well, one thing that for sure, Eric, there is definitely a wind assistant uh, you know, certainly going to the Thompson end. Uh, they find it quite difficult to kick into that breeze. So the secret is you have to run with it. Savali Armstrong will do the kicking in and should uh, put it in the middle <laughs> of the ground if he uh, gets onto it. He's uh, possibly the biggest kick in the league when he gets hold of it. And he's called to play on now, and it might be straight down the middle. He does go towards Dean Oakley at half back, and it's a fantastic kick for distance. Good height, too. Oakley goes Whoa. up. No mark taken off the back. Feldman, fourth possession, I think, and might get a fifth one if you call that one uh, a first hand ball. Now he goes to Aitchison, a long way up from full back, and takes the mark at half forward. Lead on, goes across centre half forward, looking for Bradley and Gardner. Gardner takes the mark, second grab, takes it. Plays on, terrible kick around the corner, hits Martin on the back of the heel, picks it up, got a bit of time to short kick and short pass towards Backley, called to play on. He chips the ball towards Holiday, comes out, good mark on centre wing. Gives it away to Wells, Sean. Gives it away to Bartolo, runs through the middle, goes towards centre half forward, chopped off though, Noel Riley. And he gives it away by hand to Armstrong. Left foot kick to Bradley's OK on centre wing on the outer side, takes the mark. Goes long with a right foot kick towards half forward. Yates to Sandy's ground. 
Roberts from behind, off the back, Troy Maharis, handball back towards Gardner. Gets it, gets around one, gets around two, keeps going. Goose steps himself, goes to the right foot, kick towards the lead of Luke Forbes. Tries to work for Erzlin past it. Then he's tried oh. to play for the free kick for a hold and got one. And that's uh, <laughs> what he gets paid money for. Smart footy in the forward pocket, Luke Forbes. And uh, sold the dummy to the umpire beautifully. Trying to, try to uh, sell another dummy, going at about five metres toward <laughs> the middle of the ground. <laughs> so he'll shoot for goal from 25 metres out. Just a bit, little bit worse than a 45 degree angle. He's on the right side for a left footer though. In the right forward pocket, he comes in. First game since last year's preliminary final for Luke Forbes. He comes in now, keeps it low and kicks the goal. So a good start to Luke Forbes' comeback. He's kicked his first and Thompson's first. They go to 1-1-7 <laughs> and they lead Bell Post Hill one behind. Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, six minutes played. I, I just have a fear, Laurie, Timmy Gardner starts trying to kick around corners as he was forced to the first time. Doesn't do the groin much good. He needs to be running straight, doesn't he? They can't afford to have him uh, not out there. Well, I can't uh, believe a guy that's a, a crullable of uh, Timmy does do that. Uh, he's a better player than that. I mean, uh, you can't kick around corners. It's not, uh, not possible. But they, they went to uh, celebrate with Luke there, that's a very important uh, goal for Luke, a very important goal for the Thompson side because if he can stand up, he's going to be a great asset to him. In the middle, Oakley, clear tap down into the arms of Feldman, goes backwards, finds Armstrong at centre half back by hand and Armstrong goes long to uh, centre half forward. Mark not taken but a free kick paid to the man in front and it is Mark Roberts. So at centre half back, Roberts for Belpost Hill, kicks it low into the breeze, nice kick, Feldman, oh, oh magnificent <laughs> mark. And uh, if he's not on fire today, I haven't seen players that are. Feldman's had five touches, I think, already in uh, my reckoning and uh, has taken that mark in the middle of the ground. Kicks long inside the 50-metre arc, but uh, Belpo still blo blocked the uh, defensive half up pretty well there as uh, the mark has been taken. Play towards centre wing over the head there of uh, players who are leading. Uh, Riley comes in and uh, is a bit on off the ball. And, uh, well, he's paid it against Nick Maharis. I think perhaps it maybe uh, could have gone the other way, but uh, not the case. So uh, the free kick to Belpost Hill on centre wing. As uh, players now... Well, the umpire uh, said that he'd uh, taken too long. The ball touched off the boot on the half-forward flank. Picked up there uh, by uh, handball, certainly came to Hanley. And... Uh, O'Connor, handball to Highland. Highland, G got rid of it quickly to Nick Maharis. He tries to kick it. Can't uh, get a kick away. It's pretty hot in close there as the ball pushed out by uh, Urquhart. And it's finally pushed toward the boundary. So, Laurie, there's no easy kick so far. It's pretty, pretty tight and pretty hard. Yeah, well, you expect that, Eric. Uh, both sides are probably uh, pretty evenly matched, actually. And uh, I think it's going to be that sort of contest most of the day. From the throw in Oakley, huge punch forward for Thompson. Only as far there as uh, Backley. For Belpost Hill, heads back, a nice looking kick back into the corridor, looking for Simmons over his head. He's closely attended by uh, Bradley, and that's a great one-on-one -on -one contest there. Oh, coming through strongly there was Riley. Kick toe poke along, picks it up, keeps going, crashes a tackle. Now puts the uh, the ball to the boot. As he's uh, kicking, however, he's pushed off balance, and the ball skews off the side of the boot towards the right-hand boundary line and uh, out of bounds in front of the change rooms here at the Godfrey Street Oval. So Thompson really not uh, going forward with a lot of composure at the moment, but from the throw in, Yates, the only man to go up, gets a, hand, a punch forward, but finally into the arms there of Batolo. Over the top once again, has found Ditchburn, and now Belpost Hill again. Go forward towards centre wing, Bradley, great spoil, gets the ball to ground, Christian Highland doing the crumbing, loses his feet, handball to O'Connor, handball back to Armstrong, he skirts the mud patch and kicks wide, and he's got Shane Stone on his own out there. Takes the mark. He's got another player loose further forward. It's Hood, and Thompson go forward with Hood taking the mark. The man on the mark is Adam Wells, and he's on the 50-metre arc. Hood now goes long to the goal square. Big pack there. Off hands at the back. It is uh, through. That is another behind to the Thompson side. Off the boot of Hood, touched off hands. They go to one goal, two eight, Thompson. They lead Bell Post to a one behind victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Ten minutes gone. Actually, it was a good kick out by Hood. Then he uh, obviously knew that he could kick that distance. I just uh, probably a little bit critical prior to that, but he uh, held it up a little bit too much. Wells goes in short, finds Vid Moranovic, takes the mark. Only about 30 metres out from the Thompson goal. Goes outside 50 now with a terrible kick. Kicked it into Welsh's front yard, Nelly. 
Jeez. And it's out of bounds on the full. Did go wide, didn't it? And uh, it'll be retrieved by a spectator over there. And given back to Christian Highland. He will take the free kick at left half forward for Thompson. So Christian Highland now with the footy. Goes laterally to Aaron Bradley and Dan O'Connor on centre wing. O'Connor got a bit of time now to chip the ball towards centre half forward. Troy Maharis on a long lead. No push in the back, no mark. Play on the call. Umpire says it's held in and it will be a ball up in between centre half forward and the centre of the ground. Troy Maharis just remonstrating with the umpire to find out why he didn't get a push in the back. And probably didn't get the necessary answer as he walks back <laughs> with his head bowed. Oakley from the ruck contest falls into the hands of uh, Martin. Also in there was Cameron White. Got a push in the back and will take the free kick. So it's centre half back. Cam White for the Panthers goes towards centre wing. Holiday with a couple against him. Baxter and Bradley back to the middle. Dyer through the middle. Handball to Backley. Standing start. And the handball's chopped off. Highland dies in there as well. Ball in dispute. Gardner comes at it. Sean Wells there as well. Off hands. Still in the middle of the ground. Nobody can pick it up effect effectively. Goes towards Baxter and also Oakley. Blind turns a couple and then handballs over his head. White gets a push in the back. Play on the call. And now Bartolo. Pretty scrappy play but pretty pressurised at centre wing. Backley. His handball's chopped off. Highland and Wells. They go close to the boundary line. Can Highland keep it in? He can. He toe pokes it towards centre half forward. And Vid Moranovi then t kicks it back to whence it came. Out of bounds for a throw in. Half forward flank on the outer side. Yeah, one of the things is hard to get a free kick out there as well. I think the umpire's <laughs> a little bit tight as well. Uh, they're a bit mingy with free kicks. <laughs> so Andrew throw in. Oakley and Wells. Falls short. Gardner gets it down towards uh, Troy Maharis. Gets it away to Highland. Dropped the footy, then picked it back up again. Right foot torpedo punt to two on two. Felbin having a rest in the middle of the square. Roberts is down there as well with him. Close to the boundary line. And out of bounds for a throw in in the left forward pocket for Thompson. So it looks as though they're switching Troy Feldman and Troy Maharis on the ball at full forward. He's having a rest down there. Ruck contest will be between Yates for Thompson and Martin for Bell Post Hill. Martin gets it down. Handball came from Hood. Chopped off by Bartolo. Gives it back to Lee McAuliffe. Runs through half back. Goes with a wobbly kick towards the middle of the ground. Holiday comes out. Can't take it. Armstrong over the top of it. Tries to tap it out to Riley. Gets around a couple. Turns back and goes out wide towards centre wing. Nick Maharis against Hanley. Maharis goes up. No mark taken. Hanley off the back and handball it to nobody in particular at half forward. Baxter comes across. Got Nick Maharis in support. Gives it back to him. Then handball to Riley was too hard for him. Hanley comes in. Riley wraps him up. Not going anywhere. And it will be a ball up on centre wing. So Martin Hanley gets up. Gives a footy back to the umpire who will throw it in the air for Oakley and Wells. Oakley gets it down towards Gardner. Wants to break free of Adam Wells. Gets him through a couple. Then handballs it away to Dan O'Connor. He handballs it further afield to Nick Maharis at half forward. On the left boot. Goes long towards the square. One on one Forbes and Fursley. Forbes used the body beautifully. Too easy. And will shoot for his second. Only uh, eight metres out from goal. I'm concerned about that matchup, Laurie. I think uh, young Luke hasn't played a lot of footy, but I think he's a bit too experienced for uh, Fursland. Yeah, I think they might be right. It was a nice kick from Nick uh, Maharas too. He uh, just sat it up and let the wind carry it over the back of the pack and was a relatively easy... Uh, ooh, check side. <laughs> <laughs> That's Luke interesting. Luke makes sure. Just comes around a couple of uh, steps and then kicks with the outside of the left boot for his second. And it is Thompson's second. They go to 2 2 14. They lead Bell Post till one behind. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. We've been playing 14 minutes in the first term. Well, it's probably uh, in 14 minutes, two goals, not enough lead, Laurie, I wouldn't have thought. But uh, it's been a, a pressure cooker situation so far, as you've mentioned. Yeah, well, saying that, uh, Eric, uh, Bell Post Hill have gone inside 50 a few times. So, I mean, uh, we, we, it is quite windy, but if you're prepared to run the ball and uh, keep it up there, you can you can score, I'm sure, into the breeze. So, you know, they'd, they'd probably want to have a three-goal uh, three break on uh, Bell Post Hill at the end of this quarter, I would have thought. So, with the interchange, Tar now on the ground for uh, Bell Post Hill doing the ruck work. And, uh, well, there's a whistle on play. Somebody from Thompson, <laughs> looks like it could have been Timmy Gardner, he's in the centre circle, so he's gone a fair way into the square. <laughs> And the boundary umpire picked it up. So the free kick, Tar, handball quickly to Roberts. Roberts' mark goes to the uh, full forward position. Whistle on play, and the free kick has gone to Forbes in defence for Thompson. Called now to play on. Doesn't know where to go. Terrible kick, but luckily he's found Shane Stone. Handball to Highland. Highland over to Gardner. 
Gardner handball out to Nick Maharis. This is better from Thompson. They've got the ball in the clear, but uh, the Nick Maharis kick wasn't as good as it could have been. Lux of fortune, though. Beautiful pick up by uh, Luke Forbes. Handball finally gets into the arms Melbourne there of goal. Troy Feldman in the goal square, and he doesn't muck around. He's turned around and kicked the goal. So much better play from Thompson. More direct, and they've kicked their third goal. 3 2 20. They lead Bell Post still one behind Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Now 15 and a half minutes gone. Yeah, I think you call it beautifully there, Rick. It was more direct. They got into the corridor, and uh, if you're in that corridor and you make some errors, uh, you know, it's going to spill out to one of your players, hopefully. And uh, once again, it was Luke Forbes in there. I think he's, as you said, probably a little bit more experienced down there and was able to create some space there and uh, get it over to Feldman. It was a pretty easy goal in the finish. So waiting for the footy to come back to the middle. A couple of quick goals for Thompson. 19 points to the lead. Middle stages of the first term. And the Panthers coach, Dave McNamara, warming up on the sideline, so he might be a, an inclusion into the game shortly. It'll be Tar up against Oakley. And umpire Tatnell throws the ball in the air. Oakley comes in. And they both get a hand to it. Falls to Christian Highland. Runs through centre wing. Gets a shepherd from Gardner, goes towards the leader, Yates. Can't take the mark off the back. Martin's there, Hood there as well. Leaves it behind Martin. He can pick it up and handball it to Bartolo. He shuffles it out towards White. Running backwards, gives it back to Bartolo. So they've worked it across half back towards the middle of the ground. <laughs> Wells against Nick Maharis. Works his way to the front. Offhand, Stone to run onto it. Got Gardner in support. And, oh, he's done a hamstring too, Stone. Oh, Gardner, blind turn, 40 metres out, closing. Can he goal. finish it? No, he no. can't. Misses. And through for one behind to Tim Gardner. But uh, the coach is not looking too healthy. No, he'll have to come straight off. There's three, no three, doubt about that. 3-3-21, three, three, Thompson. Bell Post still one behind. And as uh, one coach comes off, the other one comes on. Dave McNamara replacing Cameron White. And Shane Stone will be replaced for Thompson by John Mitchell. Mark Roberts is going to do the kicking in where it's been. Uh, Adam Wells has been doing it. He's been designated kicker. Well, I think Wells is probably more important up the ground, uh, Laurie. That's a nice kick from Roberts. Certainly, it's gone to outside 50. Oh, well done. <coughs> Dean Oakley got in front there of McNamara and has taken the mark outside 50. But with this uh, fairly strong breeze coming uh, at his back, Dean Oakley could put the ball well into attack for uh, the Thompson side. So uh, Dave McNamara, the coach of uh, Bell Post Hill, just outside the 50 metre arc as Dean Oakley moves in. Well, he's made pretty good contact. He's going to land in the goal square. Bell Post still hands go up, comes down to Marinovic, handball over to uh, Bartolo. He gets uh, dodges and weaves around. Finally, uh, he's well, gone. he's tackled, and he I say gone. he's pinged. He had a fortnight to get rid of it. Great tackle, Luke Forbes, and I tell you what, you nearly kicked what, what a great comeback to footy for Lukey Forbes. He's been in the place. He kicked the uh, two of the three goals, and he's well within range once again. The umpires actually put him in the club rooms, I think, to do his preparation to kick the footy. Don't worry, now she's got him on camera. <laughs> So Luke Forbes with uh, Bartolo on the mark, 35 metres from goal. Forbes moves around, kicks it low. He's gone. Oh, oh hit, the, hit post. the post. So lovely kick. <coughs> Unfortunately, not quite on line. Three goals, 422 Thompson. They lead Bell Post, still one behind. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 18 and a half minutes. He certainly put a bit of thought into that kick. That's why the reason he went back. He was he knew he was going to sweep around there on his left foot and uh, just misjudged it just a little bit. It was a, a good kick, but not the right result. He's just a nice, comfortable kick, isn't he? Doesn't mm. use a lot of effort. So Roberts from fullback again for Bell Post Till. Moranovic gives him a lead towards the combat. Goes in that direction at uh, half back. Oh. Goes up. Oh, standing at the back third in line. Nick Maharis takes the mark. Maharis get, got a lead from Luke Forbes again. And the kick is, well, just chopped off by Ditchburn. And just as well, Bell Post Till with the numbers now, though. Moranovic gives it... Uh, gave it to Bartolo. Got it back from Bartolo. Goes long towards the centre of the ground. Feldman looks up. Looks for a handball, then goes for a left foot kick towards half forward. Bradley's taking the mark on the outer side. Lead on, short pass to Troy Maharis. Yeah. Hits him on the chest, can't take the mark. Second effort, he needs to handball away now to Sabali Armstrong. Spud tries to be fancy with it, can't take it with him. Christian Highlands there, McNamara through the middle. Draws a player, handballs it to Wells, runs through half back, gives it back to McNamara. Then he handballs it further afield to Backley. Bell post still running through the middle, goes towards a vacant half forward. Urquhart to run onto it. Does so now, he's got... Uh, Roberts standing there by himself, can't take the mark though. Aitchison comes out, backs himself, needs some support. Forbes kick off the ground only as far as Dyer. Handballs in front of himself, Forbes to keep his feet. And uh, that's Marcus and picks it up, handballs it back towards Nick Maharis. Right foot kick towards centre wing. Armstrong against Bartolo. 
A two on one position, great play. Armstrong to Oakley, draws a player. Handball to Mitchell, just on the ground. Has to get rid of it now. Goes to the right foot, kick towards Forbes. One on one with Fursley. Used the body, took the mark. And we'll have to make a change there, I would think. Bell Post Hill. Luke Forbes has taken another mark and will shoot for goal from 35 metres out. Slight angle. Well, he's kicked two goals. One, he's given a handball away, Laurie, so he's really uh, a, a decent-sized pain for Bell Post Hill at the minute. Yes, and you, 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 these two changes, you've got to make them quickly. There's no good hanging around too long doing it. Uh, swap it over, someone might just have enough to go with him. I think McAuliffe might be better on Luke Forbes as the match-up, but he comes in and might be able to punish them again. Bell Post Hill, he comes in yeah, and kicks goal number kick. three for the first turn for Luke Forbes, and it's the fourth for Thompson. They go to 4-4-28. They lead Bell Post Hill one behind. Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 20 and a half minutes played. Well, they'd not only be delighted, Thompson, with his, his return to the game, Laurie, but his input in the first uh, 20 minutes has just been sensational. Oh, it's great. Uh, you know, that... Uh, and, and they've probably got what they uh, probably thought we thought a four goal win, didn't we? They've got that, so uh, it's probably pretty pretty good quarter for them. So every goal now, of course, will be a bonus uh, in our <coughs> view. But uh, their defence has stood up so far when Bell Post still have got the ball down there. The defence has held firm. So back with uh, umpire Scarrett in the middle as Dean Oakley and uh, Justin Tarr prepare to do battle. The ball goes up. Up go the Ruckman, Oakley clearly tapped forward, O'Connor taps it out wide looking for Bradley, but uh, Roberts is in the way there for uh, Bell Post Hill, he's tackled, ball comes to ground, Christian Highland comes around, picks it up, handball back in board to O'Connor, handball back to Highland, has time to have a good look, and he's got players uh, loose, kick too strong there for uh, Mitchell, picked up by Yates, threw the footy away, and uh, umpire agreed, probably a great tackle, had him by one arm, had no way of getting rid of it unless he kicked it, and uh, that wasn't going to be the case. So good work, Adam Martin plays on quickly with a handball to Tar. He chips the ball inboard, or almost too high for ditch burn, but he stretches and takes the mark inside the centre square. So almost in the cricket pitch area. Oh, you're kicked joking. It, kicked it straight to the man on the mark in uh, Dan O'Connor. He's kicked it forward. Well, a mark uh, missed there by... Uh, that was uh, Troy Maharis that he should have taken and the boundary umpire is 100 metres behind as the ball drifts over the boundary line in front of the scoreboard which reads 4-4 Thompson, one behind Bell Post Hill. So it's 20, 35 metres from the uh, behind post, half forward flank and uh, I guess both Troy and Nick Maharis, Laurie so far, there's marks they should have held that they haven't and that's important for Thompson, it, they do. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, just saying, so there's a couple of mismatches there. Uh, Bartolo can't go with Feldman. So the ball there, tapped forward by uh, Yates. Almost uh, picked up by Luke Forbes once again, but unfortunately he's laying on the boundary line and uh, the ball called out by the boundary umpire. So now only 10 metres from the behind post. Yates doing the ruck work up forward for Thompson against Martin. There's a Mitch Mast in the height there also, but the ball comes down to McNamara. Not too sure where to go. Looks for a handball and finds a teammate out there. Tara in does. That was first, I think, initially, and uh, he's only kicked the ball as far as Bradley, who hooks it back into the full forward position, but in front once again, Roberts. Fair sort of a job to do in this first quarter, but uh, he's standing up to it pretty well. Chips it wide. Oh. Well, he's looking for his coach <laughs> out there in McNamara. The kick far too strong, and uh, just so happens that uh, Aaron Bradley got out of the way very, very smartly because Troy Maharis wasn't far away, and uh, he's got the free kick. So, man on the mark, just outside 50, on the boundary. And I'd be a bit inclined with Troy Maharis' the ability to have a go, Laurie, wouldn't he? Oh, dude, look, it, you're entitled to have a go inside there. Have a dash. Well, it's a magnificent kick off the boot, and uh, it's over the goal. Umpire said, why wouldn't you have a go when you can kick the footy like that? Troy Maharis is first, the fifth for the Thompson side. Great start for them, 5-4-34. Bell Post Hill, one behind. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 24 minutes now gone. Yeah, it was a lovely kick, wasn't it? He's a beautiful kick. Uh, that was probably uh, 45 kick metres straight through the middle. Terrific stuff. There just seems to be some mismatches here for me, though, from Bell Post Hill. I just, uh, even out here, that we've got Wells, Sean Wells out here on Nick Maharis. I don't think that's the right match there either. You'd really switch Simmons onto him, wouldn't you, on the oh, other wing? Just about have to, I'd say. Back to the middle, Oakley up against Tarr. Oakley gets it down towards Felbin. Handballs it to Highland. Handballs it further afield to Tim Gardner. We've said that a few times. Gardner, right foot kick towards the leader, Troy Maharis. <laughs> past him, Luke Forbes. Works Fursland past the ball as well. Can't keep it in this occasion. 
And it will be a boundary throw in right in front of the scoreboard. In the left forward pocket for Thompson. Reads uh, the Tommy Tigers 5 4 34. They lead Bell Post Hill 1 behind. Boundary throw in will be contested by Yates for Thompson and Martin for Bell Post Hill. Yates gets it down towards Troy Maharis, gives it away to Gardner, kick around the corner towards centre half forward Riley. Nick Maharis goes oh, up, raffle it. Two Thompson players. Well, he's paid Nick Maharis, I think. <laughs> Who's got the winning raffle number? Yeah. Number 18, I think he said. No, no, no Riley no, no, in Riley. front. Man in front. So Noel Riley will take the uh, kick for goal from 40 metres out directly in front. On a huge goal kicker, halfback flanker, who has been in re really good form in the last month for Thompson. Yeah, he certainly has. He's been one of the good uh, finds for Thompson, I reckon. He's uh, pretty dogged up back and uh, doesn't give too much away. We'll see how his goal kicking goes. He comes in now, 40 <laughs> metres out, keeps it low yeah, and has kicked the goal. No doubt about that. Straight through the middle for Noel Riley's first. The sixth for Thompson. And they go to 6 4 40. They lead Bell Post Hill one behind. Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 26 minutes played. Laurie, this, this is probably one of your catch cries all the way along the line. Thompson, fortunate enough to win the toss, but they've now got enough score on the board to put pressure on Bell Post Hill. Oh, it certainly is, uh, Eric. I mean, that's the secret of the game. I mean, uh, whatever Bell Post Hill has to do in the, th in the second quarter, Thompson have had their chance and they've uh, benefited from it. I mean, they're probably a couple of bonus goals up on this Winbury's and. Uh, their footy smarts have been pretty good today, the Thompson Tigers, and uh, when they've gone forward. So uh, if they can maintain that for the four quarters, they're going to put a lot of pressure on uh, Balpo still. In the middle once again, Dean Oakley clearly gets a tap down, does his own roving, follows through on the left foot, kicks it uh, into the full forward position. In front, Troy Maharis doesn't take the mark. Hood overruns the footy. McAuliffe does well to get uh, out of defence. The handball finally comes to McNamara. Just gets a kick away, but intercepting in the middle of the ground is Christian Highland for Thompson. Thought about the handball to O'Connor as uh, Simmons very close to the mark, but uh, now he's clear and uh, kicks the ball long. He's going to oh, land great inside kick. 50. And I don't know whether that was good vision. He ran from here. Yeah. <laughs> he ran from centre wing, Troy <laughs> Feldman. I don't know whether it was great vision or certainly uh, good football. Troy Feldman, as Jason mentioned, ran 60 metres to the gap and he's taken the mark 40 metres out directly in front and the opportunity to kick his second. So he's here to play and he's here to show... Uh, Bell Postel, I guess, what they're missing this year because uh, he's been a huge asset to this Thompson football team this year. So Troy Feldman about to move in. Well, it's a it's pretty a good looking kick. The players are pretty happy. The goal umpire is also happy. Troy Feldman's kicked his second and Thompson have kicked their seventh. Seven goals, 446. Bell Postel one behind on the victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 28 minutes now gone. You can't beat experience, Laurie, can you? No, well, I, you could see him run into the gap there, and uh, it was, but it was a beautiful, uh, well-executed kick from uh, Christian Ireland as well, and uh, he's playing quite well over there. He's had uh, six kicks in the first quarter and two handballs, so he's doing OK. They've made the switch on Forbes. Ditchburn's got the job there. Furzland's come up to be on Mitchell at half-back. And back to the middle. And they've changed Ruckman again, Bell Post Hill. It'll be uh, Hammond, I think it is. Is it? No, it's uh, it's Roberts actually in the ruck centre, and he's wrapped up by Dean Oakley. So the two ruckmen will do it again. Secondary bounce in the middle, and the loose man in defence, Bell Post Hill, Laurie. Too little, too late. Yeah, too little. Uh, uh, Adam Welsh could have been in the middle early for a start off. So, ball up, Oakley pushed in the back, hold advantage paid to Bell Post Hill. Bartolo draws a man, gives it away to Dyer. Great to play by Riley. Forbes runs the other way. Marcus. Torpedo oh. punt to centre half forward. Hood goes there. McCullough. Oh, great mark. Great Red Hood. Oh, in front of Lee McCullough. as well. And fifth. Feeling oh. that was going like a bomb. So Hood at centre half forward. Pops it up for Forbes against Ditchburn. Getting back there. Roberts off hands. Forbes keeps his feet. Kick off the ground. No. Ditchburn. Can run away, can he? Gets the kick away dangerously towards Fursland. Mitchell against him, punched away. Feldman to come onto it. Oh, Fursland oh. wrapped up too high, said the umpire. <laughs> and Troy high, Feldman think. told Fursland about it. <laughs> Free kick to Fursland. In between the back pocket and half back flank. Not much to kick to, though. He, he looked up and saw Nick Maharis by himself. <laughs> it was a good option. Who was still there by himself. And Dean Oakley. So, and he's going to kick it straight to him. Straight to Dean Oakley. And Urquhart won't Stop. be able to stop that. <laughs> Oakley gives it away to Nick Maharis. Oh, they're running right. He goes with a left foot kick across centre half forward. Troy Maharis, Bradley goes up, off hands, back towards Hood. He handballs it back towards Highland, standing start. Handball towards Gardner, waits for it to sit, gets around one, dodges, leaves, gives it to Highland, handball back to Gardner. We've heard, said that a few times already today. Now he kicks it to Mitchell. Great Mitchell vision. from 35 metres out, 
should kick the goal and yes. does and has put his first on the board and danger danger signs for bell post still 8 4 52 thompson they lead bell post to one behind victor trophy's first quarter scoreboard 30 minutes played well, that was certainly, sorry, that was certainly great uh, vision from uh, Tim Gardner there, and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit critical sometimes. He kicks around the corner, but he got his head up there, saw Mitchell, uh, popped it straight out there, and uh, he ran and kicked a nice goal. I, I can't for the list. It's a funny game, football, Laurie. Where was this side last week at Richmond Crescent, this Thompson side? Well, I don't know. You know <laughs> I, I, I guess Shane Stone's asking the same question. Yeah, that's, that's what coaching's all about. Yeah, well, I was talking to Shane before the game, and, and he's, he was absolutely shattered with the performance last week, and he said, I hope the right team's come today. Well, I think his uh, wishes have been granted because Thompson doing everything right in the first quarter and uh, have established a 51 point lead at the 30 minute mark of the first quarter as umpire Tatnell to put the ball in the air once again. Oakley, there's a whistle on play. It's a bell post. I don't know who Thompson. it was. Uh, it's against Thompson. Yep. So uh, free kick going to, uh, to Roberts. Kicks the ball long, straight down the ground which they need to be but the only person there is Marcus Forbes for Thompson. Takes the uncontested mark. Decides to handball to Sabali Armstrong. He kicks long to the centre of the ground. Hood, a bit of a mismatch there, but uh, gets the ball to ground. Good work, Roberts picks it up, but his handball absolutely to nobody. In fact, to Laurie in the uh, commentary position, I think. Urquhart, nice little handball. Wells, he's pursued. Christian Highland wants the footy badly. And uh, Wells it is, picks it up. Only kicks it as far as uh, Mitchell. Terrible kick under pressure from Mitchell, and it's ended up in the arms there of Backley. Backley now for Bell Post Hill. Kicks it into the pass of Simmons. However, the ball bounces terribly. Comes back to the advantage of Bradley. Handball along the ground. Picked up by Forbes. Handball forward. Finds Armstrong in the middle. He's immediately tackled there by McNamara. No chance to get rid of it, said the umpire. And uh, almost in the centre circle. Umpire Tatner will take hold of the footy. 32 minutes now into the first quarter. So a big pack of players. Around the middle as uh, Marcus Forbes gets the tap down to Gardner. Nice little give out to Highland. Another give to Bradley. They're in the forward half again. Thompson as the ball is uh, almost marked there by Ditchburn. Drops it, however. The chest mark can't afford to do that. Threw it along the ground. OK, said the umpire. Finally comes in. Oh, oh great tackle on uh, that was oh, Bursland. And finally picked up by Timmy Gardner. Nice little chip. Marked in the goal square by... Felman. Troy Feldman is turned around, kicked his third, and that's the ninth for Thompson. So uh, they're on fire, Thompson. 9 4 58. They lead Bell Post till one behind. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. It's almost 33 minutes. Yeah, well, that was great play. Uh, they're getting the ball in the, inside their 50 very quickly, aren't they? Uh, they're kicking it long and uh, trying to make every advantage of this uh, win situation. And uh, they've got good players all over the ground. I'm just uh, going through my record here at the moment. I think you can mark about 10 or 11 players <laughs> that uh, really contribute to uh, the Thompson side in the first quarter. Bellpost Hill are having real trouble going forward. Uh, obviously, they've got a running game. They, 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 they're not prepared to run. They, they can't get the ball up past the centre-half forward, and they're breaking down. And when they turn it over, they, they've turned it over to Forbesy two or three times, Riley a couple of times, and, they, and Armstrong, they've been able to run out of back. Laurie, the other feature uh, in the forward half for Thompson, they're absolutely ferocious with their tackling to keep the ball in. Yeah, exactly. So uh, back with uh, umpire Tatnall. Must be very close to quarter time as the ball goes in the air. Dean Oakley, huge punch forward as the siren sounds for quarter time here at Godfrey Street. And the quarter time score shows Thompson, nine goals, four, 58, leading Bell Post Hill, one behind. So the goal kickers for Thompson in the first term, three to Luke Forbes, three to Troy Felburn, singles to Troy Maharis, Noel Riley and John Mitchell, Bell Post Hill, yet to score a goal. The only downside for Thompson, their coach Shane Stone, with his hamstring heavily packed with ice at quarter time, he goes out to see his team with a 57-point lead at quarter time. We'll take a break, and when we come back to second quarter action, our match day live coverage between Thompson and Bell Post Hill. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.